Welcome back to Insurmountable. Let's see what we should do as the next mission. Oh right, Scientist is next, isn't it? Because we just did the other two characters. We have a gigantic crater with a steep conical rise. There's a great deal of dangerous terrain on this mountain. Need four temporal anomalies. That sounds disturbingly similar to the mission we did where we almost died. This one? Yeah, this one. A vast crater with a steep conical rise. So the difference is this one is gigantic instead of vast. I don't know the difference between gigantic and vast. <laughs> they could mean the same thing. Um, but there's that. And then also this one has more than average dangerous terrain, apparently. That's pretty scary. <clears throat> Normal weather. Breathing is harder on this route than air. Increased time cost when moving. Okay, I think this might be another really tough one. Hmm. What have I unlocked for scientists so far? Like, how should I play them? I have better base stats. All right, we have the spend sanity to gain a temporary buff of your choice one. I haven't used that yet, so I don't know what the buffs are. Mm, whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, you get a lot more energy, actually. Actually, that's really... That's really nice, because there's more dangerous terrain on this map. Yeah, that's super nice. Okay, aside from that, you gain sanity every time we use a consumable, and get more energy for waking up. Okay. So breathing's harder, so we definitely want an oxygen mask. Aside from that, the weather's normal, so we don't need to worry in particular about cold temperatures. Mm. I wonder, because we get a lot of energy for a dangerous terrain event, maybe we kind of want them? Usually you can spend energy to overcome the event, right? But I think not always. So I probably still want to avoid them. I might just take what I have right now. I really like what I have. Yeah. I really hope I don't die. I'm scared. <laughs> Please let there be a significant amount underneath the death zone. No, there isn't. We're already just barely below the death. Yeah, the death zone's right there. Ah. Well, there, although there is a lot below me. Hmm. Well, step one, cave. Follow the wind. Oh, what happens? Uh, a short distance ahead of you is a corpse riddled with stalactites. Oh. Well, we lost a bunch of temperature, but we did gain a bandage. Any reason to sleep? We'll get our warmth back. Might as well, right? We did just lose a bunch. Sure, sleep away the entire first day. Okay, you use three sanity to get a temporary buff of your choice. Let's do that, because I want to know what I can get. Mad genius. <laughs> There's no stopping you. You focus your willpower on... Oh. Let's see. So energy will last six hours. 30% less energy cost on all terrain. Body temp gives you more body temp when moving... This seems really nice, as long as I can keep my sanity up. This is... like, these are really powerful. And they last for six hours, which is quite a lot of time. Definitely not something I'm going to want to use for no reason. Like, only if I'm actually kind of hurting. 
for something, would I use it? So right now there's not really much of a point, although I guess the um, less energy cost mineral terrain would pretty much always be good. And I do have to pick something, I can't undo this. So let's take energy for now. Yeah, we have higher base sanity than the other characters, I think. Where are... Oops, hit the microphone. Where are we heading? Oh. Well, that direction. Should I head straight there, or should I gather stuff below me? Man, there's a lot of impassable terrain. There's so many stony pathways. Hmm. Let's go straight there. Explore the tunnel, use my flashlight! Oh, O2 tank and some food. Nice. Let's sleep so it's almost morning. Ooh, I might want, whenever you reach a point of interest, gain three sanity. Because <laughs> sanity is going to be a particular problem. Um, I think it's better than the others right now, too. The others aren't even that, that good. Corpse in the Ice. Free it. Examine it. We're a scientist, right? Let's free it. And then, and then examine it. Yeah, we've seen this. We can call for a traitor. The green flare pistol. Hmm, controlled breathing would be good because breathing is harder in this map. Oh, but ticket slow is also very good. Hmm, let's take controlled breathing. So we're just about to be in the death zone. Let's use Mad Genius again and get the energy one again. Um, should I stay out of the death zone or should I just go up there? Because I think the anomaly might actually be up there. I can't... Like, I don't know if that's the edge of the map. I think it is the edge of the map. So maybe I don't want to go up there. Oh, yeah, there it is. take. Well, if I mend my wounds, I'll get sanity back, which is important. But... Mm. Let's take decrease energy cost. We still have mindfulness. We'll get sanity with each point of interest. I think we'll be okay. Oh, we get to choose what we want here. Health or sanity? Well, that's easy. Okay, where to now? This general direction? Let's 
get out of the death zone. is a dead end. Oh, it's the procession again. Talk to the strangers. And they hit me in the back of the head. Less sanity, less health, but some experience. Oh, so this is going to give me energy back, right? Let's check. 59 right now. Let's move carefully. Ooh, we lose some sanity. Um, It's possible it gave me the energy back at the very beginning of the dangerous terrain event. I'm not sure what it was before the event. Health or warmth? Let's take health. family tragedy. There's a pile of snow at the foot of the slope, an avalanche must have hit here recently. Mm -mm. Oh right, the holes because of the um, procession. Um, mm, let's just continue. I don't think I want to mess with that. Oh, it's the cable. Follow it. Climb down. Try to get access to the hideout. Yes. Gloves and food. Uh, okay, so these are climbing gloves. Mm. I think I'll keep my fur gloves on for now. Ooh, controlled breathing. Better oxygen. That'd definitely be good, of course. Ooh, or we get another mindfulness. I like the idea of like going all in on mindfulness. Like going all in on that. And just continuing to use Mad Genius. Give me a bad event. I want to see if my energy goes up. There we go. Yes, it does. By uh, 30, I think it was. That's so much energy. That is huge. 
Yeah, so I can spend some energy to try to overcome this, but I think I could still get a bad status effect. So it's not like it completely negates the negative event. We get a bunch of sanity back. Oh, and there's the anomaly. There's a storm. Energy cost for climbing increased. Stone switch. Flip. The switch. Protective helmet. Hmm. I don't really want that. Less energy cost on all terrain while sanity is above 60. I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, and this is less time while oxygen is above 60. Well, these are both good. Let's get clear mind. Dead deer. Oh, Do I want to try to get the moon herb inside of it? Let's try it. Yeah, I got two herbs for that. Oh, I don't have the energy for that. Hmm. I could use my ability, but I think I'm going to have to sleep right afterwards anyway. Oh yeah, I really should use that ability, huh? Wait, there's a goat? Hold on. You step into the anomaly and can hardly believe your eyes. In front of you sits a goat with a long, snow-white beard. It slowly raises its head and seems to indicate that you should sit beside it. This is no ordinary goat. You can feel it in your bones. An aura of wonder surrounds it. You already feel better, mentally stronger. Goats really are wonderful animals. They really are. Let's sit next to the goat. You sit next to the goat and pet it gently. Its coat is warm and soft. The goat turns its head and your eyes meet. You stare at each other for a long time, until you feel like you're drowning in its dark eyes. Your eyes grow heavy, and you're very tired. When you wake, the goat is gone, but there are fresh herbs where it once sat. You're overcome with happiness and feel fortified for your journey. <laughs> I love all this goat lore. Oh my god! Christ, look at that route! That's horrible! <laughs> it's right there! Just reach out an arm and you can touch it. But no, we have to go around the freaking world just to get to it. No thank you. Where's the next one? Yeah, somewhere in that general direction. We are losing temperature fast. And we don't have any tea. So perhaps I want to use this ability with temperature. 
Plus two body temperature per hour when moving. Will that at least overcome the loss? No, we still lose temperature, but not as much. And now that it's daytime, we will gain a significant amount of temperature. Yeah, very, very quickly, actually. Transport case. Search it. Just some experience. Mm. Warm thoughts. Consumables give me warmth. Sanity. I kind of want to trigger a bad event to get some energy back. That might be a bad idea because the possibility of status effects, but I could really use some more energy right now. Mm. Let's get temperature again. Oh god, I fear that this is completely impassable. Okay, it's not. food. Actually, before we go up, let's go hit a bunch of nasty terrain and get these two. Yes! Buried alive. I've never been so happy to be buried alive before. Dig fast. Use energy. That's fine. Yeah, we're fine. Closed container. Wait, this is new, I think. You come across a corrugated metal shipping container covered in rust. It's closed by means of a massive lock. Maybe the occupiers used it as a storage facility? You could try to break open the lock with a rock. Try to break it. Success! The lock breaks and you're able to see inside the container. All that effort paid off, you find some valuable equipment. Ooh! High quality protective helmet. Still gonna keep my oxygen mask on, but... It's cool. Glacial cave, we get some sanity back. Oh, 
Hold on. What should we focus on? Energy? Could also do oxygen. Mm, let's do energy. Tent. Well, it's abandoned, so I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to miss the equipment. But I don't want to spend a bunch of time here. Let's continue. Follow the wind. We lost a bunch of temperature, but we gained an oxygen tank. Should we sleep? Eh. Maybe, yeah, it'll get us out of the nighttime so it won't be as cold. I know it's going to burn a lot of oxygen, but we now have two oxygen tanks, and we could use Mad Genius to help us with oxygen as well. Oh, we can get even better oxygen stuff. And there's the anomaly up there. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the one for oxygen. Which gives us plus three oxygen per hour when moving. Is Are we actually going to gain oxygen? Yeah, we're in the death zone. And between that and all the other bonuses we have and the oxygen mask, we're actually going to gain oxygen. Albeit very slowly while in the death zone. Sweet. That's huge. That's huge. Insanity or temperature and oxygen and time. Turn around and take a detour. You come to a sudden stop. A wall of ice and light appears just a few steps in front of you. You found an anomaly. Astonished, you take a look at the apparition. The surface flickers and changes constantly, and you almost feel as if you can see faces in it. After a while, you are sure you can see your own face, your reflection, but not as you remember it. It looks older, tired. Hmm, talk to myself. Your reflection moves its mouth when you speak, but it doesn't seem like it's mirroring what you say. You shake your head. You must have imagined it. You keep talking, but this time your reflection's mouth doesn't move at all. Shocked, you fall back, staring in surprise as your reflection simply smiles and points at the ground. There you can see some provisions. They must be for you. You quickly stow them in your pack and continue on your way. <laughs> well, that's creepy. Um, let's toss away the lesser protective helmet. Oh, let's get oxygen again. Hmm. 
Hmm. We don't really need anything. I'm just going to continue my journey. Now, where's that last anomaly? Looks like it's below us. Hopefully out of the death zone. I should sleep the night away. Maybe not. Nah, let's keep going. Keep going. Yes, energy. Energy. <laughs> uh, well, we'll use 22 of that 30 energy, but I still come out ahead. Let's do oxygen again. Yeah, this whole way here is a dead end. You can't pass that. We kind of have to go up. Briefly. Get oxygen again. Let's get your sanity up. Oxygen bottle and an oxygen mask under a thick layer of ice. Um, nah, we don't need anything. Oops, didn't mean to execute that. Although I think that's kind of the only way to go. out of here. Yep, 
There it is. And we're just out of the death zone where this cave is. Nice. Explore the fault. Use the flashlight. We get a tent. Hmm. Let's blow some consumables, I suppose. Use the moon herb. Let's use them all. Guess I'll use an oxygen bottle. Could have fit it without an oxygen bottle being used, but whatever. Sleep long. Yes, give me all the dangerous trains. More XP and more energy. Pull myself out. Energy and XP. Whoa, that is high up there. Holy crap. It's near, it's just... Really high. Oh, wow, I never noticed that. The beam actually goes up to something in the sky. It's really cool. It's really pretty. Here, this will... Yeah, that's a better view. Hmm... I guess energy is the biggest problem here, so let's get some energy reduction and start climbing. Let's get back warmth. That could be a dead end over there. I'm not really convinced that we can pass that way. Oh. Bad genius again. Energy. Oh no. 30% energy cost increase. Okay, so now our mad genius is just undoing that. My flirting with dangerous terrain has finally cost us. But who cares if my leg is broken and it takes more energy if I can just hit more dangerous terrain and get more energy? Am I right? Broken leg strat. Oh, 
I want that. Jesus, the energy cost, though. <laughs> How do I even get there? I see so many impassable bits. Um, thoroughly search the wreck? Sure. Ooh, we get a charm. We get less sanity, but we get less energy cost on all terrain. Yeah, let's wear that. Okay, that's probably the only way you can get there. Because so many other parts are impassable. Let's hit some more dangerous terrain. Maybe we'll get enough energy to, um... Oh, stop, stop, stop. To get there. Energy. Hmm... Take a detour and continue my journey. Less energy cost. Nice energy boost. Took some health damage, but eh. Let's continue. Yes, hit all the dangerous terrain. How many legs can I break? Boulders. Go quickly. We're fine. One last dangerous terrain for the road. For being such a similar um, mission type to the one where we almost died, that went really, really well. And that skill, Mad Genius, is super, super useful. It's really great. So, so far I found a basically incredibly powerful skill for the scientist and the journalist. I wonder if the explorer has one. Oh, we get more character upgrade points and more capacity. Unlocked high quality fur gloves and high quality climbing gloves. Nice. The mysterious stranger leans over you as you slowly awaken. Her eyes are sparkling and a smile plays on her lips. Good news. I found out why the stone didn't affect the time loop, even though everything with the radiation went according to my calculations. You have to picture the time loop like an umbrella. It spans the entire mountain range like an invisible shell, but the shell isn't the same everywhere. The farther we go from the original site of, this, of the disruption, the thinner the shell gets, and the easier it is for the radiation to penetrate it. You can probably imagine what that means, right? We need to get to the highest point in the mountain range. That's where we'll find the Achilles heel of the time loop. If we take the overheated stone to that weak point, cracks should form in the shell that will destabilize the entire time loop. I know I've asked a lot of you, but I still need you to scale that final summit. That will be the last step, I'm sure of it. How should we spend our character upgrade points? 
For the adventurer, I think I'm going to get another active skill, Master Climber. Usable every 24 hours. For 3 hours, 20% less energy cost on all terrain. For the scientist, I think I'm going to upgrade all of their base stats. And for the journalist... I think I'm going to get Enthusiasm. Whenever you reach a point of interest, gain 8 energy. Because over the course of a level, or a mission rather, you hit a lot of points of interest. That's really going to add up. And then later we can upgrade that to 12 energy. Nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the episode there. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, well, there's three more missions to do on Mountain 2.